In late 2013, Pepsi tapped Motive to create a cultural thunderclap that would drive unprecedented anticipation for the 2014 Pepsi Super Bowl halftime show and ensure that everyone knew Pepsi was behind it. We answered the call with a campaign platform that gave consumers a personal invitation to join in the halftime excitement long before the show began. This campaign revolved around a unique new model for generating content, using events with intrinsic, interesting settings and characters as the platform and turning them into compelling stories destined for shareability. We called it Get Hyped for Halftime. Things kicked off in Milligan, Nebraska, a tiny town halfway across the country. Motive executed a multi-day stunt featuring surprise Pepsi machines, home deliveries, fanfare, and free Pepsi, culminating in a huge surprise concert experience featuring country star Lee Bryce. By showtime, the town of 300 had taken on 5,000 concert goers. Media from far and wide had picked up the story. And afterward, the video that followed garnered over 850,000 views on YouTube thousands more across the web and cracked Mashable's top five most shared pieces of Super Bowl content. The hype continued to grow as we rolled into downtown Denver with a one-of-a-kind vending machine, dispensing everything from cheerleader squads to dancing referees to 100-person marching bands, not to mention plenty of free Pepsi. To top it off, 26 people expecting a free Pepsi got a whole lot more than they bargained for, a trip to the Super Bowl halftime show itself. Their stories were captured in yet another video, giving the world a chance to share in their excitement. Finally, we headed to Buffalo Wild Wings in Secaucus, New Jersey to amplify the halftime hype in a truly unforgettable way. Transforming a halftime break between NFL action into a full-on halftime show with none other than 80s rock heroes Foreigner. The band's performance of Feels Like a Halftime served as the anthem for Pepsi's final stretch to the Super Bowl leading the way for additional smaller grassroots activations designed to build the hype. Each of these events was designed and executed to become compelling content shared across Pepsi's digital and social channels. Not a single dollar was spent on media to support these videos, yet Get Hype for Halftime videos collectively scored views in the millions with the Halftime America video making Mashable's most shared leaderboard for the month of January. Motive's new model for content creation turned unique, story-driven events into buzzworthy moments that could be experienced by far more people than those that were there in person. These moments were authentic, organic, and shared virally without the aid of media spending, and they paved the way for the most viewed Super Bowl halftime show in history. Yeah, We'd say people were hyped for halftime.